what is going on you guys and welcome back to another video and today we have got some stuff to talk about in this video such as intelligence and what will be happening on the 2nd of November this year so let's begin shall we so today I have made in contact with Captain John Price and I have asked him if he and his squad can go and attack the q Vengers again. And while I had been on the phone with Captain Price, he had given me some intelligence about the q Vengers and the Devils. So we'll talk about the intel in a minute, but let's talk about when will Squad 1 for 1 attack the q Vengers again. So, Squad 1 for 1 will be going to attack the q Vengers again on the 2nd of November this year. And they might possibly attack the Devils as well. So Russell's army. And I have told Captain Price that if he and his squad see Matthew or Russell, don't kill them. I want them alive. I want them captured. I want them to surrender. But if they don't, try and kill them if they can. So let's move on to the intelligence that Captain Price has told me. Well, even Squad 141 members have told me the intelligence as well, because they were with Captain Price when Price was on the phone with me. So, the Devils have taken over Ashika Island. So, if you guys don't know where Ashika Island is, it is located somewhere in Japan. The island that looks like this. So, Russell's army have taken over Ashika Island. And there could be the possibility that we might attack the Devils in Ashika Island. But it could be possible that they might be unstoppable in Ashika Island. Or, at some point, we can just destroy the whole island with Russell's men on it. Yeah. That way, Russell will probably surrender, but I don't think he would anyway. Our second intelligence is that the Devils might join the alliance with the Q-Vengers, which means that Russell's army might join forces with Ben Bowler's army. Because the Q-Vengers had an ally before, even before the war was declared, or after the war was declared. And they were the Moonwalkers, which you guys would know that the Moonwalkers are no more, thank God. So, Ben Bowler is going to have an ally again, who will be helping the Q-Vengers defeating the enemy, which of course is my army. And this, and which means that Russell and his army will become villains. Because if there were any armies who were an ally of the Q-Vengers against the Marcus Hunt, like if there was any of those armies who were in our alliance with Ben Bowler's army, they are villains. So if Russell and his army does join an alliance with the Q-Vengers, then the devils will become villains. So which means that this war may get worse. Because ever since Mr. Wish HQ and the Ragnars have finally given up fighting the Marcus Hunt, the war has gotten better. But not if the Devils will join the Q-Vengers, because joining the Q-Vengers, two armies against three armies, well, actually, I don't think they would win against three armies, because because there's only two of them, the Devils and the Q-Vengers. Because, like, if the Ragnars and Mr. Wilverich HQ were still my enemies, then this war would even get more worse and my army would get defeated. But we did manage to survive from those armies attacking me. Okay, the last intelligence now, that the Q-Venger leader, Ben Bowler, has Makarov and his forces in the Q-Vengers army. If you guys don't know, 
who what Makarov looks like. He's a man that looks like this. So Makarov is a Russian soldier. Originally, he worked for Vladimir Putin, helping the Russian soldiers, killing Ukrainians. But ever since Ben Bola hired Makarov in his army, Makarov left the Ukraine and Russia war to join the Qvengers to try and defeat Squad 141 and my army. So, the Makarov and his forces are now the Qvenger soldiers. So, guys, on the 2nd of November, my army and Squad 141 are going to attack the Qvengers. And, like I said, they may possibly attack the Devils as well. So, before I wrap up this video, as I did say to John Price and Squad 141, if you do see Russell and Matthew, don't kill them. I want them alive. I want them to surrender. I want them captured. Bring them to me. And I can try and discuss and alliance with them so they can become allies with me again. Anyways, that's going to conclude today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Have a great day and night to you all. Peace out. Underwater.